Hi Leo, this is your June 10th through the 16th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread, we'll be looking at new love entering your life, or you entering somebody else's life. <laughs> in the second spread, we'll check in with those of you who are already in a relationship or married. In the third spread, we'll see if anybody wants to get back together with you. After that, we'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances, and then we'll wrap things up with what you're not expecting to happen this week spread. Please Please like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Ten of Pentacles, clarified by the Queen of Wands. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Ace of Wands. Then we have the Tower, clarified by the King of Pentacles. In the, in the potential outcome, we have the Hierophant with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. And uh, we have uh, the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have uh, Scorpio, maybe a Sagittarius. Um, this is one strange reading. Or is it? Or is it, Leo? It feels like you're the one in pursuit. Or you're the one who is steering this in the right direction. It feels like you're the one driving. You're the one behind the wheel here. Alright, because <laughs> we start with the Ten of Pentacles, which is clarified by the Queen of Wands, right? I assume you're the Queen of Wands here, and you're clarifying the Ten of Pentacles, which is a card of financial abundance, it's a card of real estate, and it's a card of family, rock-solid commitment, marriage, or family. And it's clarified by you. <laughs> we also have the King of Pentacles kind of in the middle right there, clarifying the tower. So the King of Pentacles is the person you're dealing with or will be dealing with. So it could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody with a lot of Earth in their chart. If they're not an Earth sign, they could be somebody who is wealthy. They could be somebody who is grounded, serious, somebody who works for a financial institution. And the King of Pentacles is clarifying the tower. All right? And I think this King of Pentacles is going to be a little bit shocked, a little bit overwhelmed. I don't see you being shocked or overwhelmed. I see you, like, painting a target <laughs> on, on this person's back. I see that. And uh, you're just going to be in pursuit. Not like going crazy, not going nuts, but uh, yeah, you will let this person know that you're interested in some shape or form. You may even make it happen. You may even kind of create this um, environment where the two of you are together. Um, it's like, and, and at some point, I think this person is going to be a little bit shocked. All right? A little bit shocked. So you're coming in very strongly, very powerfully. All right? But I think eventually they will capitulate. <laughs> All right? That's how, that's how I see it is. Because you came out in the beginning of this reading, clarifying a marriage card, commitment card. And they, clar and they came out a little further down, in the middle, clarifying the tower. And the tower, in this case, I think is how they feel. They're going to be shocked, overwhelmed. They don't see this coming. Okay? Um, yeah, uh, right next to the, so the Ten of Pentacles, perhaps you're going to see this person as marriage material, you'll see this person as a good catch, you'll see this person as a jackpot, and you'll be like, that's it, that's it. <laughs> I'm taking matters into my own hands. And speaking of that, the next card I came out is the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is a fire sign indicator, right? You see how the Queen of Wands, you probably don't see it because it's partially blocked, but the Queen of Wands is holding up a wand. And that's your one. This is you getting all excited. This is a new beginning that is coming from you. The initiative is coming from you, right? The Wheel of Fortune is the start of a cycle, a very fortunate cycle, right? And uh, on, the, on the bottom of the deck and uh, in the potential outcome, we have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. And in the potential outcome, we have the Harp and the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So technically, we have three marriage cards on the table. Three. Not one, not two, but three. Um, this King of Pentacles could be a Taurus, right? The Hierophant, the first card in the potential outcome, is a Taurus, Major Arcana card, and Taurus is an Earth sign, so maybe that's them in your potential outcome. But the Hierophant, if we want to stay general, is a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. The Ace of Cups in the middle is the second Ace, very loving Ace, uh, the Ace of Cups is all about true, genuine, authentic love, and uh, the Ten of Cups right next to the deck is the technically the third marriage card on the table. As a matter of fact, we start with the Ten of Pentacles, one marriage card, and we end with another marriage card, the Ten of Cups. 
And uh, like I said, I think they will be on board. It's, uh, eventually, <laughs> when they come back to their senses, they will be on board because of the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Because there's two people in the Two of Cups. I assume that's you and this King of Pentacles. It's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of a unconditional love. And it's a card of when two people are on the same page and feeling the same way towards one another. So one exciting reading, Leo. A bit of an unusual, but I'm not surprised. Uh, Leos always get what they want. <laughs> And you're definitely getting yourself the, this King of Pentacles, all right? Really happy for you, Leo. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or married, uh, Leo, this part is for you. We have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Sun. We have the Page of Pentacles. Uh, we have the Queen of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Cups. And we have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I don't know who this Queen of Swords is to you. Probably somehow associated with your family, or maybe they have a family of their own, maybe they're um, a relative or a friend. Um, and uh, everything, or at least a, a, at least something, is definitely revolving around this Queen of Swords. If this Queen of Swords is a Gemini, maybe it's their birthday this week. Okay? But, uh, yeah, um, the Queen of Swords is classified by the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is a card of a family, right? Maybe this person is throwing a party like a baby shower party maybe for some of you because uh, we have kids throughout this reading look at it in the sun card all the way to your left even though it's one of your major arcana cards there's still a child in the sun card right riding that horse the page of pentacles could be a child and uh, in the ten of cups clarifying the queen of swords there's two adults and also a couple of kids so it could be a child's birthday party, it could be this Queens of Swords birthday party, but kids are also coming and they're going to be running around, <laughs> or something like that, all right? Um, yeah, the Sun, like I said, that's you, that's one of your major arcana cards, the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a wish come true, and it's also a card of an event. All right, the Ace of Swords, the first card that came out, it's a card of clarity. It's somebody who is very decisive. Maybe you're throwing a, a party for this Queen of Swords. Maybe this Ace of Swords belongs to you and you're going to be like, you know what, yes, we're going to throw you a party. Or you're per actively participating in it. Or something along those lines. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, um, Leo, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent ex, and in your case, it may not even be an ex, okay? So we have the Magician, the Sun, the Knight of Cups, uh, clarified by the Fool, and uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Gemini, Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, we also have Aries, maybe a Sagittarius, maybe even another Leo. All right, so guess what we don't have on the table, Leo? Guess what there is none of on the table? There is no rejections, okay? I know you guys never take anybody back, or most of you never take anybody back. Perhaps it's an exception. This person doesn't have to be an ex, right? The Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck could be interpreted as a restart of a cycle, or starting a new cycle, but on new terms. All right, so the Wheel of Fortune kind of qualifies as a card of somebody coming back from the past. All right, the Magician, the first card that came out, is either a Gemini or a Virgo, you know, those two share that uh, major kind of card. We're in the middle of a Gemini birthday season. The Magician is also a card of manifestation and taking action. It's a card of taking action. The Sun, the next card that came out, it's one of your major arcana cards, and at the same time, it's the happiest card in the deck. And then we have the Knight of Cups, clarified by the Fool. The Knight of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but it's also the most loving, the most romantic, the most caring knight out of all four knights. And the Fool could be an Aries you're dealing with, but uh, the Fool could also be a card of um, starting from scratch, you know, letting go of what happened in the past. The Fool could be a card of taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. So, yeah. It feels like either a reconciliation, or if it's not an ex, if it's somebody coming back from the past, you guys are going to give it a shot. Looks good. Look at it. What? Four, four major arcana cards. <laughs> so it's unavoidable. And I don't see any sad cards. I don't see any cards of anybody doubting this. I do see this as a new beginning. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Leo. This week we have the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. 
Um, <laughs> I think this week, Leo, if you want something, if you want something real bad, you'll have to go get it. Okay? It's usually not a problem with Leo people. <laughs> so, for some of you, it could be business as usual. All right? But uh, the universe says if you really want something, you will have to go, go get it. You'll have to fight for it. If some of you may literally have to go somewhere. Because the Knight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune could be cards of like, like literally going somewhere. But the thing about the Knight of Swords, out of all four knights, it's the knight that tends to get into fights. All right, it's the knight that is not afraid to charge ahead, to get their sword out, and to strike. The knight of swords is in the attack mode. I'm not saying you should be physically attacking people, but uh, you will have to be very decisive. Very decisive this week. The eight of pentacles clarifying the knight of swords is a card of work, business, and finances. So you can use, this is what it's all about. Right? The Ace of Pentacles in the middle is a golden opportunity, so whatever it is you're going to have to be fighting for is a golden opportunity, once in a lifetime opportunity, whatever it is. You know, it could be a contract, it could be a business deal you're going to have to close, um, it could be a promotion, a job, what have you. The Wheel of Fortune right next to the deck, another travel card, or it's simply a start of a cycle, right? And uh, the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, that's what you're trying to achieve, I assume. It's a card of somebody who's doing very well financially. And also a card of somebody who is respected and admired. Alright, so yeah, keep that in mind. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Leo. We have uh, the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Three of Pentacles, we have the Six of Wands and the World on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, so you got this Queen of Pentacles and for some of you it's uh, what you're not expecting is this Queen of Pentacles uh, being like rewarded or recognized or promoted or something like that or uh, what you're not expecting is this Queen of Pentacles presenting you with an award <laughs> or maybe this Queen of Pentacles is gonna give you a ticket to go to a concert, to a show, or what have you, right? So I'll interpret this spread as if this Queen of Pentacles is presenting you with that Page of Pentacles, right? And uh, that Page of Pentacles is qualified by the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles could be interpreted so many different ways. It's a card of collaboration, cooperation for some of you. This is somebody you work with, you do business with, um, or it could be somebody uh, who is in uh, who is like an acquaintance or a friend or somebody who is in the same gym with you in the same class with you so they're gonna literally give you something or present you with something with that page of Pentacles alright I think they're giving you something and uh, the six of ones uh, right next to the deck is a card of victory success it's a card of recognition it's a card of being you know awarded rewarded recognized promoted it's a card of feeling good about yourself feeling good about what's going on and I think that's how you're gonna be feeling as a result of this the world on the bottom of the deck it's a card of an ending and uh, it's usually a happy end card this is when one chapter of your life comes to an end and a much better much happier chapter of your life is about to begin because of this because of this Queen of Pentacles giving you something or awarding or rewarding you with something all right, though the world, by the way, could also be uh, someplace remote. So maybe it's a ticket to go somewhere, <laughs> someplace warm, someplace nice. Uh, so it could be something like that as well. All right, uh, Leo, so that's what I have for you for this reading, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Leo, have an amazing week.